So the breath you need to fill in your in your lungs. Then gently hands out. Look forward. Both hands sideways. Lift your hands up. Very slowly start moving down. Body strong, but at the same time, good command. Place your hands on the mat. Try to touch the mat with your palms. And if it's possible, bring your hands closer to your feet. This way. So, Padhasthasana. Very, very, very slowly come up. Repeat this. Inhale. Exhale. Come up. Relax. Inhale. Five counts. This is third. Fourth. Five. Then very, very slowly come back. Look forward. Hands with your body. Breathe slow. Next posture. On your knees. Hands with your knees sideways. Exhale, go down, inhale, come up, five counts, done with your five counts, relax your body. Come out from Vajrasana to Dandasana. So Dandasana where your legs are forward. Rest, relax with your calf muscles. Hit your calf muscles down. Legs together. Very, very slowly. Lie down on your back. And lift your legs up 90 degrees this way so you are in pad uttanasana now from here 10 counts where leg goes down to the floor but it will not touch the floor then bring it up you can support your back with your hands if you feel hurt or if you feel some pressure there you can support your back with your hands otherwise if you're strong if you're okay then without support Two, do ten counts. Three, four, five. Very strong move for your stomach. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your legs up. Breathe here. Rest and breathe here in this position. Then support your pelvis, your body with your hands. Lift your body up in Sarvangasan. So support your body this way. First balance your body here. Balance. Bring your knees closer to your head or face. Lift your legs up. Breathe here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your knees closer to your face. Then leg up. Both legs up. Bring your knees closer to your head. So this is your preparation for Sarvangasana. Breathe, rest, relax here. Now lift the legs up, full up, support and up. Now work on this posture.
So you are doing Sarvangasana. Very, very slowly, bring your knees to your head. Very gently, drop down. Rest here, relax here. Breathe, rest here. Second attempt, second count, second set. Here we go. Lift. Support your body. Then lift your legs up. Stay there. Slowly come down and rest your legs. Rest your body. Breathe. Gently come out from your right side. Take support from right side and come out. Legs forward, Dandasana again, breathe, fold your legs, both legs together, fold them back, this way, back strong, so there is no support to the back, not to take any support now, be here, then Hold your toes with your hands very slowly, bring it out forward as per your capacity. If you feel comfortable here, then hold here only. If you feel comfortable to hold here, then be here. Or if you are okay to lift your legs up, then lift them up this way. Stay here. Again. This is also very very helpful move but because it's a little tough many times we avoid in our weight loss formulas but I, I feel it's very important because it works on your digestion system also. So this will help you for weight loss for sure but at the same time it will take care of your digestive system. So stay there, try to learn this technique properly. Stay, hold. Again, it's completely on you. If you are able to hold for 5 seconds, then hold, drop down and then again come up. But holding for longer duration will give you better results. It will build your balance power, your stamina, your strength. All is happening for you. Now, slowly, slowly, both legs, slowly bring it down, Dandasana, inhale, exhale, breathe, sit down in Sukhasana, breathe, relax there, many a times, tough move comes, we don't do them, and we miss their benefits. So in our practice, we'll not, we'll not avoid these, even if they are little advanced moves. We'll practice, we'll train ourselves. Time is there. Spend time, train yourself and gain all these asanas. It may take a week time, 10 days, 15 days. No worries. Spend time and learn these techniques. Breathe slow, inhale, exhale. Now sit down. Fill air and exhale fill air then exhale repeat this 10 counts you are sitting in Sukhasana Siddha Mudra and 
So the process is inhale and exhale. There is no kumbhak, there is no hold. You take in and bring it out. And 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 relax and conclude this practice with Vajrasana. Vajrasana will help you to balance all airs. The air movement in our body disturbs us. So this asana will help us to balance these airs. So just be in Vajrasana, breathe slow, inhale and exhale. Very slowly come out and relax, rest.